Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on attaching files to your Django models. So let's go ahead and get started with the process. So as always, what you need to do is first of all, have a Django project to which you want to apply this towards. As you can see, I have a Django project and a Django app as well in place. I also have a few files here, such as a spreadsheet document and also a TXT file, which I'm just going to use as a demonstration for the file that I'm going to upload to my model with that file field that we can attach. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do, of course, is we want to install the following library, which is Django Anchor, to attach files to our Django models. So let's go ahead and do just that. So I'm going to copy the following, head on over to my command prompt, and you want to say install Django Anchor. So we want to go ahead and do the following. Okay. So just going to take a moment. So it does have a few sub packages that come along with it. So we just need to be patient. It also, of course, has a pillow as well attached to it, which is, of course, is a commonly known package as well. There we have it in place. And let's continue. Right, so as you can see here, if you read through, you can see a list of the features here that come with this library. So you can attach images and other files to your up to your models, you can optimize your storage, display files in templates, and of course you can re reduce external dependencies. Now, of course, there's some limitations as well and a lot of other information that's provided here, of course, which you can read upon um, as you so desire, but let's continue to the details. So we want to go ahead and install a Django Anchor. So let's go ahead and do just that. So we've installed it and now we want to add Anchor to our list of installed apps. So let's go ahead and copy that. We've already done step one. So let's go to our settings.py file. And here in our list of installed apps, you just want to go ahead and add in Anchor like so. So I just wanted to add in the quotes around it like such there we go so we've got that set up then we want to go ahead and add the files to our model so let's go ahead and head on over to our models.py file so we need to close settings.py make sure you save all the changes you make so i'm going to go to the django app that i have i want to then go to my models.py file and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in the logic that we have here so by default, we already are importing the models class here, the module, excuse me. And then what we want to do is from that app that we installed, Anchor, we want to import the blob field. So the blob field is essentially what we're going to attach our file to. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add in this logic here and say from anchor.models.fields import blob field. Then you're going to see it's going to give us an example here for a movie class here with the compulsory field that will be set on every instance and an optional file that can be left blank here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in the mandatory um, fields and the class, which I will um, go ahead and alter uh, the name in a moment. So let's go ahead and copy the following. Place that in. So I'm going to keep the title field here. And of course, the field which is going to be focused on the file itself is going to be designated as a blob field. And of course, the attribute is cover because it pertains to a movie. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. And I'm just going to say customer data. And then I'm just going to call this, let's go ahead and set this as um let's say file uh, underscore record okay i'm going to set that accordingly all right there we go so here is the model that we need so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and make my migrations so i'm going to say python manage.py make migrations Okay, there we go, our model's created, customer data. Then I'm going to go ahead and push that model to my database. I'm going to run pysomanage.py migrate. There we go, perfect. Now to actually go ahead and access this model, I need to register it. So it's called customer data. Let me go to my explorer mode and open up my admin.py file here adjacent to my models.py file. Let's import this model uh, according to the class name of customer data. Let's do that. So I'm going to say from dot models, and I'm just saying that because it's in the same directory that I want to go ahead and import customer data. 
And with the admin module, I can just simply say admin.site.register. And within parentheses, you want to put in the model which you want to register so you, it can appear in the Django admin. In our case, it's called customer data. Great, so now what we can do is head on back and we can go to our Django admin. So what you can do is you can type in um, localhost forward slash admin. So you want to type that in and that's going to take you to the Django admin page. So what we want to do is we just want to now create a super user. So I'm going to say python manage.py create super user. And leave on the default, skip email, enter in a password. Again. And now what I'm going to do is run my server. Yeah, I just want to refresh this page and let's log in with our super user credentials. All right, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and log into the Django admin. All right, there we go. So as we can see, we now have our Anchor app, which we installed. We now have blobs and we now have attachments. So let's go ahead and upload our files. So we have an Excel document and a TXT document. So let's go ahead and do just that. Right. Now the functionality to upload files is gonna work perfectly if we go ahead and upload our files in terms of the object that we are creating with the customer data model that we have here. However, there is one thing that we do need to set up into place if we actually want to view what we have uploaded. So it is a step that we need to set into place. So what I'd recommend you do is the following, is to head on over to your Django project. Let's go ahead and close our admin.py file and our models.py file. And let's go ahead and set up the process of setting up the correct directories to handle file uploads. So let's do just that. Okay, so what we want to do is, first of all, in our base directory, we want to go ahead and create a new folder and we want to make sure that that is in our main project here. So I'm going to click on the folder icon and I'm going to call this media. So this will be our media folder. And that's going to be in our base directory, as you can see. Now we just want to set our media root and our media URL. So what you can do is head on over to your project settings.py file. So we can scroll to the bottom here. Okay, and I'm just going to specify the following, which is going to be media underscore root. So we're going to tell, um, um, of course, Django where our media files will be served. So we're going to say base underscore dir. So we're telling Django, look in the base um, directory. Oh, look in the base directory. And within the base directory, you want to look for the media folder. So we're going to say media. Then you want to specify the URL. So we can say media underscore URL. And that we're going to set as media. Right, so just something that I recommend you do if you are handling with files. So this might not have an impact right now, but definitely in the future for sure. Great, so our settings.py file here is in place. We also have, as you can see here, we have our static URL of course here also here in place. Great, so now let's head on over to our main project urls.py file. So let's open that up. And what you want to do is ensure, first of all, that you have the include function here in place here. So you're not going to always need this, but in this case, just make sure you have it here. And right at the top here, we want to go ahead and import our settings.py file here. So we're going to refer to the from django.conf. You want to import settings. Okay. Then we want to make use of our static function to keep in mind our media folder, our media root and our media URL. So from the django.conf.urls.static um, module, you wanna import the static function. Right, and what we're going to do is we're going to append onto our current URL patterns here. So let's go ahead and do just that. So what you want to do is you just want to go on ahead and say plus equals. So that's going to append onto our URL patterns here. You want to say static. And here within your parentheses, what you want to do is you want to go on ahead and ensure that you refer to the URL of the media and the root. So what you can do is you can go ahead and say settings 
dot media underscore URL. And then you want to set the document root. So document underscore root, and you want to set that to settings dot media underscore root. Okay, and that's going to help us to go on ahead and ensure that we're able to manage what we have in place. So in some in the old days you could use plus equals, but in these days you're just going to have to add in a plus and that's more than sufficient. All right, so we didn't need to make use of this include function. However, I did need it for my app, but in some cases you can utilize that as well to bridge the media URL and the media root together. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on back to Django Admin. I'd recommend that you just rerun your server. Okay, there we go. And you can scroll down. Let's go to our customer data model. And what we want to do is we want to add a customer data uh, object. Let's say add customer data object. And let's go ahead and say, um, let's say client record one. Choose a file. Go to desktop and I'm going to choose this file right here and say save. So that particular object that I created here, which was called client one. Now let's go ahead and click on the following link. And as you can see now, it is going to be downloaded for us. So now we can go ahead and actually view this. So we can go ahead and open that up. And let's give it a moment. And there we go. So now we can see that we have our file that we have uploaded. And we can also go on ahead and edit it and view it as we so desire. So there we have it. That's how we can go ahead and attach our files and also go ahead and make sure that we're able to download them. And that goes for any type of file that we upload. So let's add another one. Let's say client record two choose a file and I'm going to choose this time on my desktop the random list of numbers save all right let's open up that object all right let's go ahead and click on this and there we go we've opened it up so this is literally our text document and it's going to show a list of numbers or so our txt document here and it's um, available at the following as we can see url so if we go to our urls.py file and we go to explorer and we go to media, of course, we can see those files here that have been saved and they now stored under this media directory. So we can see our random list of numbers and of course our Excel spreadsheet saved here for us for our own convenience has been uploaded to this media folder. And the reason that that's been able to be uploaded is because what we did was we essentially went ahead and specified the media URL and our media root to essentially save what we upload accordingly. And this media URL kind of, as we can see, appended that default anchor URL that came with that library that we have. So it set up the media URL. And the root, of course, is where all of the uploaded files is going to be stored. So it gets stored um, right here in this media folder. And essentially speaking, that media URL is going to help to um, tell Django the location of that media root when we go ahead and uh, open the files or in our case, download the files according to the URL that we've set here. So we've set that as a URL pass here, hence the plus. Before you could append with plus equals, but it seems now you can only do it with the plus. And that's how we can do that. And this static function helps us to ensure that we're able to do so with the process. So remember, just make sure that you specify your media route where you want your file uploads to go and the URL for accessing this URL, or else you won't be able to access it as I have done now with the record, with the objects and the URLs that are situated for those particular files. All right, guys, so that's it on this video tutorial. That's how you can go ahead and attach a file uh, field to your models and also how you can go ahead and download and view those files as well. So we've added in some extra functionality also into place to do just that. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. And as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.